hello everyone welcome back to another video of easy tutorials today in this video we are going to learn how to make an animated menu icon using html and css as you can see on my computer screen i have created two different menu icons and here we are not using any image it is completely made using html and css when we click on these menu icon the menu icon will change into a close icon these icons are changing with very smooth animation that looks very beautiful. This click feature is made using very simple JavaScript that you will learn in this video. So let's start to make this animated menu icon for website using HTML, CSS and JavaScript. Here in this folder I have created two files which is index.html file and style.css file. Let me open these files with my code editor which is VS Code. So this is the HTML file where I have added the basic HTML structures and this one is the CSS file where I have added margin padding and box sizing. Here I have added the title and link tag to connect HTML and CSS file. Now we will add codes in the body tag so here we will create a div with the class name container. Next we have to add the CSS for this container so write this class name in the CSS file then we will add the width and height for this container then we will add a background so here we are adding this color code in the background so after that we will add display flex align item center and justify content it will be center so that the menu will be in the center of the web page after that let me open this html file with web browser so you can see this plain color on the complete web page let me close this browser and i will open this browser with vs code extension called live server so it will refresh the web page automatically now let me come back and here in this div we will create another div with the class name menu and here let's create a div and within this div we will add three span we have added three span tag so next we have to add the css so just copy this class name menu come back and here we will add this class name menu for this one we will set the width and height so it will be a, a square so let's add the width 200 and height also 200 pixel after that we will add some margin let me add 8% and after that we will add the background image so it will be linear gradient to right and here we will add two color code so this is the first color code and this is the second color code so we will see the gradient color in the box after that we will add the border radius of 5 pixel and then we will add the cursor pointer now you can see a gradient color box in the center of the web page now just come back you can see we have the div and a span so just come back in the css file we will add menu space div for this div we will add a small width so it will be 120 pixel and height also 120 pixel then we will add the margin so the margin will be 40 pixel then we will add the position relative again we will add dot menu and then write a span for this span we will add the background so it will be white and width will be 100 percent and height will be very small 10 pixel then we will add the border radius of 5 pixel display will be block and position will be absolute then top 50 percent and left 50 percent then we will add transform translate minus 50% and minus 50% so that it will be at the center of the box so now you can see one line in the center of this box actually here we are getting three lines but all lines are on each other that's why it is not visible so we have to change the position so here in this HTML file we will add the different class name for all this span so in the first one we are adding class name line 1 for the second one line 2 and in the third one line 3 we have added different class name for all three span now just come back to the css file here we will add dot menu then dot line one for the first one we will add transform translate minus 50 percent and minus 50 pixel so it will move up by 50 pixel you can see another line here next we have to move the third line so again duplicate this here we will add line 3 and here let's add 40 pixel so it will go down by 40 pixel like this you can see three lines so now it looks like a menu icon next we have to change the alignment whenever we will click on the 
icon first and third line should rotate and the middle one will decrease to the 0% width for that let me come back and in this css file here we will add a new class name so let me add a class name called open menu we will apply this class name through the javascript so here we are adding open menu dot line one and for this line one just copy this one here we have to change it as minus 50 percent then we will add rotate minus 45 degree like this let me duplicate it and then we will add line 3 for the third line we will add plus 45 degree that's it and let's duplicate it again it will be line 2 for the middle one so for the middle one we will add width 0 so it will be not visible after applying this we have to apply this class name through the javascript so just come back and here we will add a script open and closing tag and here let's add one variable where menu equal to document dot get element by id and here we have to add one id so first let's create one id so in this menu div we will add one id called menu like this and paste this id here after that we have to add the click function on this menu so we will add menu dot on click equal to function and within this function we have to apply that class name so here we will add menu dot class list dot toggle and in this toggle we will add the class name that we have written here in this css file which is open menu so write it here so it will add and remove this class name whenever we will click on the icon and when this class name will be applied it will rotate the line by minus 45 degree for the third line it will rotate by 45 degree if i click here you can see the changes in the menu icon but it is happening very quickly so it is not very smooth so let me come back and uh, here within this span we will add transition transform 0.5 seconds and comma width 0.5 seconds so it will take 0.5 second now you can see this animation is very smooth when we click here this menu icon becomes close icon and it is looking very beautiful similarly we will add another icon so let me come back to the html file and duplicate this and here we will add another class name called menu2 and we will change the id also menu2 after that come back to the css file and here you can see we have added the css for menu so here only we will add comma menu2 so the same css will be applied for menu2 here also we will add the same thing add a comma then dot menu2 div now here also add a comma then write dot menu2 span like this after applying this if i come back to the web page you can see another box with one line let me add a space so here we have added 8 pixels so it will be 8 percent now you can see proper a space between both the icon again we have to separate the first and third line in the second menu so in the second menu you can see again we have the class name line 1 2 3 so we will use this class name so just come back to the css file at the bottom we will add menu 2 dot line 1 so for the first line we have to decrease the width it will be 50 percent and we will change the position for that we will add transform translate minus 100 percent and minus 50 pixel after applying this you can see the second icon is visible at the top it is the first icon so again come back duplicate this line and here we will change it as line 3 and in this line 3 we have to change the position so we will add left auto and right 0 so it will be in the right side and we will change this transform also so transform translate 0 and 40 pixel now you can see the third line at the bottom in the right side 
and the width is 50%. Again, we have to add the another class name here that will change the layout of this icon. So as we did earlier, we created a class name called open menu. So here we will again add the class name open menu 2. And in this open menu 2, we will add the class name line 1. So for the first line, let's add the transform translate 0 and 0. Then rotate. So rotate by minus 45 degree. After that, duplicate this. It will be the third line, line 3. Here we will add translate minus 100% and 0. And rotate by minus 45 degree. Again duplicate it and here we will add minus 50% minus 50% and rotate by 45 degree. It is plus 45 degree. After that, we have to apply this open menu 2 class name through JavaScript. So just come back. Here we have the ID menu 2. So duplicate this line, write menu 2 and here also menu 2. Now we will duplicate this function, write menu 2 dot on click equal to function menu 2 dot class list dot toggle open menu 2 class name. After applying this, here you can see if I click here, the layout is changing but it is not perfect because the origin of the transform. So we have to change the transform origin. So just come back. Here you can see we have added menu 2 line 1. So in the first one we will add transform origin 0 and 0. So it will rotate from the left side of the line. And in the third line which is line 3 here we will add transform origin 100% and 0. So the transform origin will be at the end of the line. Now if I refresh the website and click on this icon, you can see it is perfectly a close icon. So this is how we have completed this animated menu icon design. We have two different type of menu icon and it looks beautiful. I hope this video will be helpful for you. If you have any question, you can ask me in the comment section. Please like and share this video and also subscribe my channel Easy Tutorials to watch more videos like this one. Thank you so much for watching this video.